Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello. It is negative four degrees in Kansas City, and it is currently snowing again. Um, I actually had to re-record all this because I didn't have enough uh, memory on the PC. So, yeah, that's where we're at. But this is Alan Wake 2. I've, uh, I've never played the first one. I do know that this takes place, I think, in the same area of Bright Falls. Um, 13 years after, so 2010, 2023, this game came out in October of last year, 2023. Um, again, I, I don't know much about it, uh, but getting to play it, I already did play it, got to play it, and then I had to, I have to re-record it, so hopefully we can avoid that for a third time. But, see? The old continue signs right there. So I at least know what to do, but I can still provide some commentary. Here we go. Uh, normal. Dodging. So hopefully everyone had wonderful holidays, staying warm. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Ooh. This, uh, this game gives me some true detective In story, vibes. There are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Anyways, this, this game... This is not the story I hoped it would be. This, this is not the ending I wanted. Every time I try to talk, he starts this talking. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Anyways, this has got True Detective vibes to it. Um... And monsters wear many and the outsider. Faces. Both awesome crime shows. And actually, True Detective, True Detective has a new season out. Like uh, yesterday, January fourteenth. Today is January fifteenth of twenty twenty four. And yes, I'm always behind on these new games. Always behind. And look, we're a naked man. I need show me. I don't understand that. I don't understand that dialogue. I don't understand the dead deer corpse over there. Is that a bear? We may never know, but now we are a naked, obese man walking out of a lake into the woods late at night. Thanks, McAfee. Hey, gang. Oh, where did he go? And this does have like a hint of Resident Evil vibes to it as well. Just gonna ignore the whispering for now. I do enjoy the ambiance, though. Oh! There you are. Hey, there you go. Oh, fuck. The hell, man. It's a big-ass tree, man. I like how it tells me now I can sprint. 
So my understanding of this game is going to be a big, like, uh, we're going to be solving a mystery. What the hell? It's got to be cold. It's all right, buddy. I know you're a grower, not a shower, especially when it's cold out. We all get it. All the boys understand. Hey! Oh, you, sh you shot me! It's hard out. They really cut it out. I can only activate windows in the bottom right. I need to like get, get that off there. But I'm gonna have to deal with it. Have the old car driving around in hey, the between How the trees, just like that one video you watched when you were younger. How are you? And you you fall in the car until that scary ass face popped on the thought. screen. I'm sorry, I've been gone so much. Nostalgia. Oh my God, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Nostalgia. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch. With I can't me. believe it's snowing again here, man. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. I do like the over-the-shoulder game. Reminds me of Resident Evil 4. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Which was my favorite game last year. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson right up your alley you should take lead think of me as the backup okay any words of advice nothing that would cheer anyone up great dialogue man it's great dialogue here we are cauldron lake Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. You're the one 
Invitation. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Gee. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? We sure did. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. Not that we have anything I can't the stand that they right think now. that's how one way radios work. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back. And that to is the one that's an extended mic you can see over his left shoulder. I want to see the body. How do we get there? You have to press the side oh, button for it to sure, work. It doesn't you don't just, just you don't just talk into it. Fence, <laughs> down the hill towards the lake around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Later. But yeah, dude, the extend of mics, you don't just talk into it. You have to actually hold Before the button we get down. To the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. This is pretty cool. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. All right, we're just learning how to navigate it. Okay. You can also grab it like that. Restraints, strapped your belt down. Major chest trauma, consists of 2018 victim, hard to confirm. Bloating. Only one victim was found in the water. Oh, sorry. Only one victim was found in the water. Sportsman or hunter. Victims have nothing in common. Ill illegible. I, that's such a hard word to say. Illegible. 2010. This was, she was a 2018. Does not match eight years spent in a lake. What the fuck? Okay. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, uh. you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us back. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yeah, I can't stand when... Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Whoa. Can't stand when they they get the radios so wrong. It's not even that big of a deal, but you're just like it's annoying to me because it's not how a one-way uh, radio works. Only one person can talk at a time, and you have to hold hold the button down as you speak, and it gives you a little. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Nature gives me a headache. For those that care, I use a one-way radio a lot. What is that way? Okay. Following you. 
Mr. Alex Casey. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Cutting down serial killers and shootouts with the mob. The hell? Learn the flashlight, and we found something. Which is ladle, which is hut. Cool, we got a we got a map. Oh, that's right down Main Street. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. There's oh my god, his heart's right there. Okay. Let's start by examining okay. our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Time to investigate. The heart. killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Some consistencies, some might say. Minus the heart being taken out. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers. Mm. Beer. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Tripod. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? It's weird. Heavy blood splatter on the table. Yeah, his heart got cut out, of course. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Okay. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. 
Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Back to the board. For later, okay. Back to it. Yeah, okay. You knew the victim? So you knew the Vic? Knew victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess Literal ghosts, sir. Here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. And how does this play now in Wake, the writer? I'm sure about to find out. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Well, hold on. Robert mm. Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Premeditated. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Right here. Right now. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Styling and profiling. Ritual. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. What does that mean? This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. What does that mean? You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Another clue. Let's check the board. Came from the lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Hold down the four, big chief. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake. Probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. Why nude? The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those what? witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. Same. What it's was weird. this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. 
Mm hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. What are you talking about, man? Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. Yeah, dude. It's a fucking tree. It trees are big. Creepy though. There's a piece of paper on the ground. And a footprint. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? It's weird. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. No, it does not. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their what? own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. Is this Alan Wake writing about us or something? Down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the words. The words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? What is going on? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either Let's he check it page, out. Or the killers left it for us. Gone cold. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Oh, it's right here. We got a profile, the page. We found the page in the woods, a story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. No, a thank you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's weird. Look at the footprints. Following you, Chief. Oops. Quick slot, hell yeah, right there. I love it. Got the wheel. I can't use it though. Let's get the hell out of here. It looks like I can go up that way, but that's not where we're going. Oh, which got dark. Sorry, I ran the wrong way. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. No, nope, because we made it back. Flooding down there, huh? Just like I said.
Okay. What's going on? Why are we just standing here? What's going on? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. What are we checking out? A creepy twig sculpture? Woo. What? What's going on here? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Sounds like a terrible dream. Got these triangle symbols everywhere. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano. It calls it leaves this way, but what if it's not true? What if something else, something less known, so much more man made, intentional? It's not formed, it's designed, it has purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake preparing. I know it. First drawing, waterline. Real caldera is made from volcano, lava. Second, Drawing, waterline, engineering structures, strange machines. Okay. Interesting. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Confused? Walk, follow the steps. Wash your hands. Take chicken out of fridge, take a nap. Huh. Wash your hands, that would be... I don't know what that's supposed to be, triangle up, triangle down. Okay, like a time thing, and then take a nap, and then sideways. Okay. So up, down. What is that? How do I do that? And that one. Oh, sick. Nice. 
nice. Don't take... Oh. I'm not a tree. I am lost now. Found all I can here. Giggity. To properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Okay. 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 Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've the got witnesses. a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Probably gonna need that later, aren't we? Thanks. Okay. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls. And talk to these witnesses, the bookers. Get me the, the diner, right? fuck out of here. Of Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Bam. That was an aggressive way to open a door. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Giggity giggity, what is this? Satellite? Like a radio tower? What is this? What is this? Is that a... Kids lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. We're almost together here, I'll have. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crimes. Oops. He really hates the movies. I only have two. Okay. That Oh wow, it's a, it's a case file. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Bright Falls area. Lake area. There we go. Cool. What a neat thing to do. What is that? I'm getting out of here now. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. We just started, tripod, Chief. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. I mean, they are a cult. They are a cult. A murder cult. Aggressively opening doors with keys. Okay, that's a hiking trail. We don't want to hike. 
please. Yes. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Ready you. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. <laughs> okay. So we got a murder cult on our hands, folks. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. And mysterious I'll anyway. footprints. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. What the fuck are you dressed as? The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. <laughs> just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> okay, Charlie is... Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the belle of the ball at this year's year. Oh, year dear. Just a few more oh, dear. Diner. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome what gave it away? The call. FBI on my jacket? It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. That's what I would use Katie, to. You can coffee and pie. Sheriff. Take your time. Some sugar and a stimulant. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like Excuse I'm me. Sick. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Tamantha? Oh, sir. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? Hmm. I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Could be. We heard shooting. Know. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Hmm. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the Tree. Mm, that'll Cult do it. Of the tree. That'll do it. Cult of the Tree. Oh, and then we found a. Found a what, things. Ed? Terrifying. That's all. That's our cue. Previous murders. Okay. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Cult of the tree. 
I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Mm -hmm. No, that's not what I wanted. Symbols? What? No. There, cold psychology. Yep. We got him. Profiling. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? Yeah, she said she found something. The symbol mm. is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. And that explains the symbols the we saw. Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Why is she talking like that? No Why are we talking like that? My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Tamantha. Nothing to do with a murder. Come on, Tamantha. Telling the truth. Right. Tell me more. So you found something mm -hmm. there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. I'll take that. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? Yep. Can you pause it? I just did. This is what my grandma said. Jeez. It's awful. Mm -hmm. That is awful. She drowned your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. The fuck? You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That's weird, man. That's really weird. Oh, 
Oh. Hell yeah. Rest easy, buddy. Are we petting every single deer we see? Look at this mug. Happy as a clam, sitting on a shelf. Dope. I need something to force this open. Seems like we'll be back here later. Damn it. Yes. No, it's a bathroom. Okay. Employees only, whatever. There's nobody in the kitchen cooking. Jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song for him. I'm as big a fan of coconut as the next person, but come on. That's hilarious. Don't touch. Okay. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Chrissy, okay. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard <laughs> of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban Fuck. light. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? Morning, Please Sheriff. Some D &D. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. <laughs> have a good one, Sheriff. Yep. Goofy, sounding ass. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hmm. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep. In the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff's yep, yep. Station. Just Anything you need, just uh, let Every us know. We appreciate the support, money. Sheriff. Hmm. Just opening doors. I'm FBI. I can do whatever the fuck I want. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. No fucking way you are. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Hell yeah. Explore. Okay, we're obviously gonna get something like keys or some shit. What's that? All right. What? Okay. Sorry, boys. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What There's writing on here. It's weird. 
Can't make it out. Writing. Writing on the heart. Look at that. that. That's so weird. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. There's more writing right here. This That's looks weird. like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Back to the board. All right. Murder at the lake. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Mm-hmm. Nope. Bloating. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? And let's take a look. <sighs> Why are we now wearing fucking gloves? Digging into a corpse. Pet peeve number two. First we had the radio, now we have not wearing proper PPE. Like, come on, dude. Come on. And you're grabbing it barehanded. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. You can think they're relevant, huh? It's fucking crazy. No, 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 wait. Who was that? Who was that? Sheriff? What the hell? Oh my god. Show me the clicker. Holy shit. And now we're getting the Resident Evil names. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. Where's my partner at? Can't see me now, motherfucker. Where is my partner at? He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Oh, there he is. Back. Go. Get blasted, 
this one. Where the fuck did he go? Vanished. What the fuck is going on, man? What just happened? What is this? 